Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakakwadash, and honours to the elder apostles, great males that taught me this truth, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. Okay. This lesson is going to be based on Yahabashai's authority questioned. And guess who it was questioned by? Them Pharisees, them chief priests and them elders. Let's go to John 7. Because the last thing you want to have is that mentality of, Oh, who gave you authority? You've only been in the truth five minutes, uh, two, 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 two years or five years. You see... This is why you have to be spiritual. And we're going to go into it. And Lord willing, this will be edifying. If the Holy, if Yahweh has bestowed the Holy Spirit upon you, you have authority, great authority in the spirit. Not just in the flesh, in the spirit. I want to start off on John 7. Let's go to John 7. And we're going to go straight to... Okay... 11 then the Jews sought him at the feast and said where is he they were looking for him guys were demonic okay and there was much murmuring among the people concerning him so remember he was there was a lot of divisions being caused see Yahweh he was stirring up a lot of things and it wasn't in a wicked way it was just by him just being himself for some said he is a good man and others said nay Nay means no, but he deceived the people. So some were sure about him, and others were not so sure. How about no man spake openly of him? Of who? Of Yahabashai? For the fear of the Jews, because if they knew, guess what? They'd be isolated, right? And a lot of them or what would go to the synagogues. They'd be kicked out. Because guess what? Amongst the Jews, they had authority. They had jurisdiction. Remember, they were under what? Herod, Esau. So those that didn't... Some of them believed and they knew who Yahabashai was, but he didn't out of fear. And it's the same thing in this truth. Certain men know when they hear these lessons, certain things are going on. But they don't want to, they don't want to say anything because they're too scared they'll be isolated and chucked out or, the, or out of them demonic synagogues. Okay. So one verse 14. Now about the midst of the feast, Yahabashai went up into the temple and taught. Right? And the Jews marveled. Okay, they were surprised. Saying, How know if this man letters? Okay, a lot of men will bring the scripture out, but they won't really break it down. They only give you like a, a quote of what it means. Okay, how know if this man letters? Having never learned. What were the letters? So, what were the letters? Were the law. Okay, precepts. And um, why did they say? Having never learnt. Because Yahweh was learnt. But he was not learned of the Pharisees. He was not brought up in that way. Right? Was he amongst the Pharisees when he was young? Yes, but he wasn't learned by them. Because the, the doctrine that he was given was from the Heavenly Father. Okay? So remember, they were, they were dismayed. They were surprised. Okay, bear me just a minute. Just multitasking here. They were surprised. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Because people think you have to you have to be raised up a certain way to understand these scriptures. Let's go to it quickly. Okay. Yeah. When you go into that word letters, it, it's grammar. Strong's G, 1121. In the Greek. Grammar. 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 Okay. Grammar of a letter and any writing or document or record. Okay. A note um, written of acknowledgement. Okay, from sacred learning. Because remember, the Pharisees were brought up a particular way within the synagogues. Being taught, okay, everything's script out. Or oh, sit down, 
Okay, even certain men teach that we're going to do a sit down, you know, all sit down, you know. Which nothing's wrong with that. But Yahavashai was not teaching in that way. He was taught by the Heavenly Father himself. Okay, having never learned. Under who? Under them. See, they always had a, see, they always had a problem. If things weren't being done their way, they would see that as, ah, that's wrong. It's not according to our, uh, what's it, what's it, what's it, what's it, tradition. Okay. That's how they saw it. Okay. Having never learned. Yahushua answered them, well, on verse 16, and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. Because Yahushua was always acknowledging the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay. If any man will do his will, okay, his true will, not see this thing, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is about doing Yahweh Shai's will. Okay. If any man will do his will, the Heavenly Father's will, he shall know of the doctrine. So you were gonna know of it. That was what being taught. Okay, whether it be of the most high, whether I speak of myself, and Yahweh Shai was not speaking of himself. Right? People that speak of themselves, what is because they were caught up on themselves, vainglory. He that speak of himself, seek his own see that's the spirit, seek of his own glory. Right? And nothing's wrong with testimonies. I would never knock a brother for a testimony. But what type of testimony is it? Is it all about yourself? Okay? Is it just about you? Or is it to edify the body? Right? Because you could have a testimony. But what type of testimony is it? Okay? But he that's... Because you don't want to be given more testimonies about yourself. Than rather you're given of Yahweh Shai. Okay? But he that seeketh his old glory. Okay? That sent him. The Heavenly Father is the same is true. That's how you know someone is true. Okay. And no unrighteousness is in him. So if you equate that with the hopeful elect. They be seeking what the glory that's from what. You have a shy. Not the glory of men. Did not Moses give you the law. And yet none of you keep the law. Yeah Moses gave it to you. But they, they were not keeping it. Right. And that's a fact. Because it tells you that also in what Mark 7. That they came up with their own traditions. Okay. And yet none of you keep the law. So they were hypocrites. Why are you go about to kill me? So they had the spirit. They wanted to really kill Yahweh Shai. The people answered and said, Thou has a devil. Okay. Trying to convince that Yahweh Shai was what? Possessed. You see? That's that psychology rubbish. Who got if about to kill thee? These were witches and warlocks. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, I have done one work. And ye marvel and you're surprised. Moses there gave you unto you uncircumcision, not because it's of Moses, but of the fathers. And you on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. Right? If a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, the law of Moses should not be broken. Right? Are you angry at me because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? Because he was healing the man on the Sabbath day also. Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Right? Individuals were carnal. Okay? Very, 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 very carnal. But the main thing is what the authority. Yahweh had great authority in the spirit and they hated that. They had authority. But guess what? The authority, it was of the world. Okay? Their authority was given to them by... Okay? Their authority was given to them by Esau. It wasn't from on high. It was given to them by Esau. Right? Which ultimately is, is from on high because Yahweh controls the powers that be, but it was through Esau. The Holy Spirit wasn't working with him. Let's go to Mark 11 and 28. Bear me just a minute. No, it's not Mark. Matthew 21 and 23. When you read the scripture, it really um, goes into the mind of what was happening with Yahweh and the Pharisees. Let's go to Matthew 21. 21 and 23 get straight to it and when he was coming to the temple speaking of Yahweh Shai the chief priests there, there they go again and the elders so you also had elders okay and chief priests elderly men of the people came unto him as he was teaching and said by what authority you see they were concerned with authority okay by what authority okay doest those these things who gave you who gave you the power to do this? Did you did you take our word from it? You know? You didn't come to us. 
Who gave you this authority? Okay. By what authority doest those these things? And who gave thee this authority? They wanted to know. Who gave thee charge? To teach the way you're teaching in such power, in such strength. Go into that word authority. And see what comes up. Strong's G, 1849. Exousia. 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 To a right. So in other words, they were saying, who gave you the right? Who gave you liberty? Who gave you jurisdiction? Because remember, they had what? Within these temples, they had jurisdiction. The Pharisees. Okay, who gave you the strength, power, leave or permission, physical or mental power, the ability of strength with which one is endured, which possesses or exercises? Who gave the um, privilege, power or authority, influence? Because Yahweh had great influence. The power of rule of government or power of him whose and commands must be submitted to by others. And obeyed so they were all caught upon um power and it says also the power of judicial decisions and the pharisees they had somewhat power on judicial um decisions because they were there they were um in bed with what the romans and have authority meant to uh, manage um domestic affairs so that's what they were about okay so they were asking who gave the authority they were in that spirit so you got men in the same spirit today. They may look at a man, he's young. They may look at you, he's only seven, five years in the truth. Who gave him authority to speak? Yahawashai did. Okay, well Esau gave you an authority. Okay. Over the synagogues to be corrupt, to be wicked. But guess what? You have men that have been given the authority through what? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives you, gives you authority. What? To command. To be bold and to command, but yet still remain humble. Okay, 1 verse 24. And Yahushua answered and said unto them, I will ask you one thing, which if you tell me, so he turned it, he switched it on them. I, in likewise, will tell you by what authority I do these things. If you can answer, the, bat the baptism of John, John the Baptist, whence was it? From heaven? Okay, or of men? Okay, and they reason with themselves. Okay, and you know what's so spiritual about this? There must have been contention. Okay, there must have been a contention. They reason with themselves, saying, if we shall say from heaven, he will say to us, why did you not believe him? Because then they wouldn't, guess what? Let's read that again. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or was it of men? And they reason with themselves, saying, if we shall say from heaven, he will say unto us, why did you not then believe him? Right? Because you would have believed anyway. Okay? There would be no guessing. Okay? Where that authority came from. Okay? And if we say from... But if we say of men, we fear the people. For all men hold John as a prophet. And John's baptism, it wasn't of men. It was of what the Heavenly Father. And it was what? Prophecy. So righteousness could be what fulfilled. Okay. So they were in a quagmire. <laughs> okay, they trapped it. Basically, they trapped themselves up. Because if they were if they were to say of John, it was of men, there'd be an uproar. Because the people took John for what? As a prophet. Okay. And they answered Jehovah and said, We cannot tell. And he said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority. I do these things. You want to know? I'm not going to tell you. You can't answer the question. Okay? So this is very, 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 very spiritual. Yes, you could be in this truth. Two years. Four years. Seven years. If the, if Yahweh has bestowed upon you the Holy Spirit, you have authority. Right? Don't let no elder men tell you, well, you be, I've been in the truth 15 years. But what's your mindset? Has Yahavashai, has he bestowed his Holy Spirit upon you? Right? Because men, they have this um, mentality of, ah, shut up, don't say nothing. You've only been in the truth for a little... No. What type of spirit is that? Right? What type of spirit is that? So if an elder's in the road and a car's coming to hit him, are you not going to grab him and, and pull him out of the road? Say, get out of the road. That means you don't love your brother. Why? Because power... Men are caught upon power, right? And power corrupts. 
has you looking down, has you high-minded. Okay, but the Lord's bring, bringing that down anyway. Okay, bear me just a minute. The Lord's bringing it all down. Okay. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 1 and 19. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. 1 Corinthians 1 and 19. That's why you got to get, get into these scriptures. Read these scriptures for yourself. This church of Berea, they were studious. Right? So men can't fool you. Bear me just a minute. Quickly just want to type in this word. Get this on deck. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Just get this word up. First, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians 1 and 19. And it says, For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise. So when it says oh, he would destroy the wisdom of the wise, basically the wisdom of this world. Okay. And the what was the wisdom that the Pharisees had? It was the law because the, law, the scripture says, this is your wisdom before the nations. So the Pharisees, they had wisdom. It was in the law, but they was applying it wickedly. So Yahushua was going to destroy the wisdom of the wise. Okay. And I will bring to nothing the understanding, understanding of the prudent. Quickly go into that word prudent. Bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Sonitos, intelligence, have an understanding, the wise, the learned. So Yahushua said he was going to bring that to nothing. To put out. Okay, baby, he just said he bring it to nothing. Okay, so men that you thought that were so called wise, yeah, they may have been wise in the law, but when it came to the spiritual aspect of things, they never had it. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe, the learnt man? Okay, where is the disputer of this world? Okay, bear me just a minute. See, Yahweh works in mysterious ways. A learned disputer, a sophist. Okay. Disputer of this world. Have not the Most High made the foolish, made foolish the wisdom of this world? So the, the things of this world, they deem this foolishness in the sight of Yahweh Shai. Okay. That's why Yahweh Shai uses men that you don't think have it, but he can use them to what to confound you. Okay, because you're high minded. Okay. Go to Job 32. And no, nowhere in the scriptures does it says you, you cannot correct someone that's older than you in the faith. The scripture says entreat, rebuke not an elder, but you entreat him. So you entreat him. There's a particular way you go about it, right? You entreat him as an elder. But it doesn't say, nowhere in the scriptures does it say you can't rebuke because Jeremiah, what did he have to do? He had to get on men that were what fixed in this society and they had their position. He had to do it. Jakahanayim, if I'm saying it right. Zedekiah, if I'm saying it right. He had to get on particular kings and he was a young man, right? So you can't say, well, no, you can't do that. You can. Job 32 and 9, but there's a way you do it. Okay. And it says, verse 8, but there is a spirit in a man that leads him and the inspiration of the Almighty that giveth to them understanding. And I hope for let we're going to have that. Great men are not always wise. The scripture says it. Okay, great men are not always wise. Right? So yeah, you can have a man that's been in this for a long time, but it says they're not always wise. Neither do the age understand judgment. Right? So just because a man's been in this tree for long, it doesn't mean necessarily he means... He understands judgment. It's the scripture saying this. It's not me saying It's the scripture saying you this. Over time a man can lose judgment. Oh man. Bear me just a minute. So now we're going to go to Acts 4 and 13. We're going to shut off. This is Acts 4 and 13. Now when they beheld the boldness. Perceived. Bear me just a minute. When they saw the boldness of Peter and John. They, and perceived that they were unlearned. 
an ignorant man. So even you had individuals, the Pharisees, that looked at Peter and John as unlearned. And these were very, very learnt men, Peter. Peter was what taught by Yahawashai himself. And John, okay, was taught by who? The Heavenly Father. Okay. Directly. Because Yahawashai wasn't on this wasn't quite on the scene when John was born. So John also had disciples. These were learnt men. Okay, and perceived that they were unlearned. Why? Because they were not doing things according to the ways of this world. And ignorant men. Okay. Like in this truth, you don't need to be they think you've got to have some doctor's degree or this degree, and you don't have to have that. And all that goes back to masonry anyway. And he marveled and he took knowledge of them. Okay, that they had beam of Yahabashai. Okay. Peter had beam of Yahabashai, what being taught. Okay, so they were learnt, these were learnt men. So you're gonna have individuals that watch these videos and say, hold on a minute, he would he never went to theologian school. How do you know all this? Why? Because this is what? From heaven. This truth is not of this world. Okay. Especially was it was not of the Pharisees. The Pharisees they knew the laws. They were yeah, they were taught within the laws. But as it came to Yahabashai and heavier matters of the law, they didn't have it. Okay. That's why Yahabashai was what? A stumbling block to them. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying and until the next time. Shalom.